So welcome back. Thank you for coming to another stream. Excited to see you as always. Saw you were a little confused there, uh, CJ. And so, uh, yeah, I decided during the countdown there to have it throw uh, clips up, which is the same thing I have it do when I'm going to be gone from the channel for a moment. But I've got a lot of good clips lately. So I thought it might be a good way to bring people in. So I'm always open to feedback on that. If that's distracting or not what you guys want, that's fine. But I figured I would give it a shot. Yeah, so we'll see how it works. Um, so... The first thing we need to do, especially with both of you here, Timmy and CJ, is we need to get this Streamlabs thing, or uh, not Streamlabs, Stream Raiders thing going right away. So I'm gonna flip over to Stream Raiders here. Da, 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 da. Oh, but that's the thing, that's the thing I forgot. We're at a five star battle here. You know what though? If I happen to fail, I have three retry tokens. And I think if the two of you are really on the ball with placing units, we may, we may stand a chance of doing this. If we fail it, then maybe other people will show up and we'll have a chance to redeem ourselves. So let me check my quest real quick because I do see a notification there. Cool. 20 warrior scrolls. Hot damn. Let's take them. And uh, let me upgrade my warrior. Can't upgrade him twice, can I? Ooh, I can. I have a level nine warrior. All right. And then let's check the shop out for just a hot second. Oh, maybe a healer wouldn't be terrible. Um, A rogue wouldn't be bad. I think we're going to save the rest of them here. It's going to allow us to upgrade the healer to level two. And let us give it a shot. So, five star battle. I do not, I don't know if I've ever cared about a story in a game less than this one. I apologize to the creators of Stream Raiders, but I do not care. Okay. So we have a Reptilian Shadow. These are assassins. They hunt down support and ranged units. Okay. Um, one option we have is we could bait them with a support or ranged unit, but they also have a 70% damage resistance while they're moving. So instead, we probably want to send our own assassin or warrior types after them. It looks like there may be two of those and then the Chaos Seraph. Uh, Chaos Aura, Charms targets within range 5, Charms targets swap teams for 30 seconds, Charmed Captain and Epic units swap teams for only 5 seconds, Barbarians, Berserkers, and War Beasts are immune to this effect, Saints Protection also removes Charms. So, sounds like I need you guys to be running Barbarians, Berserkers, War Beasts, and then possibly Saints here. Um, or we need to peg the shit out of this guy with ranged, but the, these guys get bonus against range. So if you have Berserker, if you have Barbarian, that's probably the way to go. Um, other than that, you could go with like Warriors or Rogues potentially. Yeah, Timmy throws down an epic Barbarian. Um, let's see, do I throw down my own Barbarian even though it's level 2? Or do I throw out something a little bit bulkier than that i have a level one berserker um <laughs> I, i'm gonna i don't know if this is the right call or not let's see jj collates here as well he's got an epic berserker oh if jj's in here and timmy and cj we have a shot at this so instead i think what i'm gonna do here is I'm going to throw my level four flag bear in here and just buff your units and you guys can keep dropping them. Yeah, let's do it. I saw that CJ placed a warrior. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh wait, my captain unit didn't. Oh, that's why. Okay. Let's do it. If there's if the three of you are here and you're on it with those units, we have absolutely got this. Do we need bait? Um. Yeah, JJ, why don't you throw like one, uh, like one ranged unit? Somebody throw one ranged unit in the left and have that be bait for the um for the shadows. Um, so maybe since it was JJ's idea, when you can throw your next unit down, go ahead and throw them as bait over there in the left, and we'll just put one unit over there and see if that can distract the lizards long enough for us to mess up the boss, and then maybe we can clean up the lizards. 
I don't know if that'll work or not, but I like it. I think it's a good idea. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the music entirely. Um, and that is because for tonight's stream, we are going to be doing something that I am really excited for. So first of all, let me go to full screen here. We need to do our aim labs warm up. So um, I did this last time and I'll get in here. And while I'm doing the warm up, I'll attempt to both warm up and explain exactly what it is that I am doing. Um, where are the ranked ones? Here they are. Train your flicks and click timing with targets that are slowly moving. Okay, we'll go with this one. So tonight's stream, tonight's episode is all about coaching mindset. And I'm going to use that in a general sense. And then I'm also going to use that with Rainbow Six Siege specifically. So let me kind of get into this here. And once I kind of find a groove, I will attempt to talk here. Oh, that was a bad start. Remember one of the things I talked about last time and I did this off camera was doing stretches to get things warmed up. And then, oh my God. And then what we are doing here is we are warming up our aim and we are trying to make sure that we are playing properly. And my bad habit is that I never move my arm the way that I should. I always plant my arm because of my gel pad and just move my wrist. And so I'm attempting to move my forearm rather than just my wrist. I'm doing a poor job of hitting these moving targets, but that's okay. That's why it's a warm up. That's why it's a warm up. If I mess up hitting the blue balls, then that is not as bad as headshotting targets in game. Yes, I just said blue balls on stream. You're welcome. Uh, last time that we played Siege, we had some pretty epic fail moments. Um, but we also had some good moments as well. Oh, stretch. I already stretched off stream, but I'll do it again. Uh, so I'm going to do I'm going to do kind of the one that I really like to do, which is put your palms behind your back. And you put your arms straight out. If you guys want to join me at home, you can do so. It feels really good. Stretches out your shoulders, triceps a little bit. There we go. All right. This time I'm going to try uh, playing with um, Static targets. I think that may have been my worst performance on that one, and that is fine. We're going to try static click. This one I did a little bit better with the last time. Not that the moving ones aren't important. They're actually probably more important. But tonight's focus is all about coaching mindset. Uh, ow, my scapula. Because <laughs> you gotta you got to stretch it, but you can't overextend it. Um... So coaching mindset is really, really, really important. And honestly, I think it's the most rewarding part of my job as a coach um, because it's something that I feel like I can do well that is not tied to my inability to play some of these games at a high level like my students can, right? I don't have to be a diamond level siege player to coach people to have the right mindset when they're playing games. And I got to give credit where credit is due. I think this ability to coach mindset and kind of what it takes to win and what it takes to be a good player is absolutely one of coach Andrew's strengths. And I have learned a lot and grown a lot as a coach, not only from learning from my players, but learning from Andrew interacting with our players and talking to them about mindset and what it means to learn to win and to play like a champion and things like that. And so a lot of the things that I'll talk about are ideas that have been influenced um, by working with and learning with him as my colleague. And I very, very much appreciate that. Um, but some things with mindset, right? These are some topics that we're going to talk about tonight in a little bit more detail. But these are things like uh, learning to win, which is something that we talked about in practice a few weeks ago, learning to win. Um, it's also learning to lose. Uh, and how to take losses the right way and how to learn from those losses. Uh, coaching mindset is also about developing an internal focus or mode of control with our players, right? Too many people in any area of their life like to blame everything else going on in the world for their shortcomings and their failures rather than taking a deep, hard look at themselves and saying, okay, sure, 
X and Y happened, but what could I have done better? Um, I used to be that person a lot as a teenager, um, playing games all the time, you know, back when I probably would have been able to develop the highest skill. I had the worst mindset, which was always blaming things like internet, other players, teammates for when I was performing poorly. Um, but instead you focus on, even if your team didn't do something you think they should have done, even if a game didn't go the way you thought it should have gone, even if you got outmatched against better opponents, it doesn't matter when you are coaching mindset, you are always thinking about what could I have done differently? What could I have done better in that situation in order to make it go in my favor? And that is a huge part of becoming the best at anything. It's not just coaching. It's or sorry. It's not just playing competitive video games. It's not just playing basketball. This applies to your personal lives. This applies to your careers. This applies to anything. Just taking a look at your actions and your behavior and saying, what can I do better? What is under my control, right? Because at the end of the day, the only thing that I can influence is me. I can't control my teammates. I can't control my opponents. I can't control um, any other people than myself. I can't control some of the life circumstances that are thrown my way. The only thing that I can control is me, right? Um, and so that is really important. So rather than having an external locus of control or trying to blame the outside world or the environment for your shortcomings, you have to throw your pride aside and say, look, if I truly want to improve or get better at what I'm doing, what is it that I can do better? And so I'm going to try to talk about that while I'm playing Siege. We're going to do one more warm up game here. I'm going to choose a different category because I need to do a little bit of tracking practice. So let me go ranked, let me go ground tracking because ground tracking is a lot more relevant in Siege than bounce or jump tracking because you're not jumping in Siege. Um, now this one, the audio is a little bit nuts. Um, so just be mindful of that. The volume shouldn't be too loud, so it shouldn't be too bad, um, but it is a little bit annoying. So I'm only gonna probably do this one once and then please make sure that you're continuing to place those units so we can kick this boss's ass. Let's go. You can see my movements are very jittery. There we go. That's a little bit better. May or just under 50% accuracy, which is not great. I always want above 50%. I think the best I ever did was like a 61 or a 62%, which is not bad. But you're trying to track the target, right? Because the siege has a very low time to kill. But I need to be able to make sure that I'm hitting the target when I pull the trigger, whether it takes one bullet or 15. I'm not really aiming for headshots right now. I'm just trying to make sure my crosshair is where it needs to be in terms of shooting and killing my opponent. We're going to end with like a 47% accuracy, which isn't terrible, but it could be a lot better. Um, so, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and actually I'm going to do one more. That tracking wasn't too bad. I think if we look at my rank, it probably hasn't progressed or moved at all. Yeah. Um, so my flicking's in gold, which is good. Um, if I get any of these ranked up at all, I'll actually go from silver to gold, which is kind of my next goal here. Um, but I think in order to do that, I'm going to have to get just a little bit better at tracking or switching. So let's see if we can get it done. Um... Let's try this one. So this is um, switching targets. Train your target, switching with small targets, moving horizontally on a wall. Focus on being accurate when you track the target. So if I remember right, all of these balls have a short health bar, and then you're trying to track it while it moves, and then the second that its health bar goes away, you want to move to another target. Oh no, I'm actually shooting them. Okay. But the same idea. I'm trying to track that target. It is not, this mode does not let me ADS, just so you guys know. So I'm just going uh, hip fire. And then not only is it about tracking and killing the target quickly, the nice thing about these is they always move at the same speed for the most part. Uh, at least at the, ver at the very least, they're not jerking back and forth like some of the tracking targets do. 
And so if I can just like identify the speed and follow it, that's a lot easier than some of the other ones. Um, and so I also then want to move to the next target as quickly as possible, so I am not wasting any time. Right, this one's all about switching targets. Kill, switch. Kill, switch. I also have a lot easier time going left than I do right, apparently. It feels a lot more natural to move that target left. Hey, I got a new high score. Was it enough, though? Was it enough? Hey, look at that. We barely crested in a gold four. And so I think we're going to stop there with the warm up in uh, in Siege or in Aim Labs anyway. And then we will switch over to playing Siege here. So Siege should already be up and in the background. There it is. We are going to do one warm up within Siege, within the training grounds. Um, and I'm going to go through and just do the T Hunt warm up. I'm not going to do the flicking practice that I showed off last time. Um, but this is another good one where I can talk about some of this mindset stuff, right? Um, so the first big topic that I want to mention um, is just building um, building on that idea I mentioned a minute ago about playing with an internal focus. So again, as I'm going through here and I'll try to narrate this, you know, I don't want to be talking about like, oh, this person wasn't where they should have been. Oh, I lagged. Oh, whatever, right? Because then I'm coming up with excuses, right? And sometimes there are things that are going to happen that I have no control over, right? If I'm playing Mario Kart and I get shit items, I can't control that, right? Now, I can, I can, what I can do, though, holy shit, the door's open. Um, what I can do, though, is I can try to go, okay, I got poor items. Sometimes that's going to be random. It's going to suck. Also, though, what can I do to make sure that my item rolls are a little bit better or how can I roll items more frequently so if I get bad rolls I might end up eventually getting a good one right same thing's true in siege um obviously not with random item rolls but if I'm constantly saying like oh there's no way I could have done that because the opponent you know pre-fired me around the corner or they droned me out or they did whatever it's like okay sure I got droned out but when I got droned out did I just stay in that room and stay in the spot where they found me because if they did, then that's my fault. I didn't react to the, um, I didn't react to the situation. And most situations where you lose or fail at something, there is something, even if it's minor, that you could have done to adjust and put things, uh, put you at a higher risk of success. Are you going to win every time? No. Nobody wins every time. Even the best of players lose a fair amount of the time. I also did a bad habit there, okay? When that guy shot at me, I wanted to get I wanted to get out of his uh, line of sight, so I crouched, okay? That's a bad habit in Siege, because if he's aiming at torso level, and then I crouch, I am moving my face directly into his crosshair, and that is really bad when you're playing uh, multiplayer online against opponents. And that's where you, you could have a player who's like, oh, that's bullshit. I crouched and he shot me in the head anyway. It's like, yeah, it's because you crouched that they shot you in the head. If you had done that better, if you had made a better decision, you could have avoided that, right? Whoop. Okay, now they're going to chase me. But you know what's cool? I'm going to stand behind their shield. I'm going to listen for that way and I'm going to listen for this way. Because they can only come from one of those two ways. Like that? Oh, they're coming from both. I might die here. Okay, this is a bad spot now. I'm getting pinched. That time crouching was good because I could hide behind the cover of the shield. But being open to both those angles at once, the AI held a cross angle on me. Last person is coming from my left. There they are. Oh, and I almost whiffed it. I almost whiffed it. I almost dropped the ball there. Watch this. When they came in, I swung too far. I went too far to the right. But this is the first thing that uh, that you have to break if you're going to start seeing true improvement, right? And everybody eventually gets to the point where they get upset, they get salty, and they go, this is bullshit. This shouldn't have happened. And there are legitimate cases of that, right? Sometimes you're going to get matched against a hacker. But if I had a nickel for every time that I had a player, uh, not at the college level, but at the high school level, accusing an opponent of cheating in an official match when they weren't cheating and they got outplayed... I could probably retire, right? 
because we're we're raised in society to believe that nothing is my fault, right? There's always another reason for why I, things didn't go the way that I wanted them to. We're going to do one more here. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to hop into... Uh, we're going to hop into... Quick play. Because we got about 12 minutes on the timer. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to kind of pause there, right? And as I'm playing through this, this game of Siege, I'm going to try to narrate or reflect on my decision-making in the game and try to point out things where I could have improved. Now, last time I was kind of giving some of my teammates a bad time because I was identifying some legitimate mistakes they were making. And it wasn't to point out and say I lost because of them, but this is going to be all about my play. And I will say... Um, this map is one that I am not very familiar with, right? So I can't rely on my map knowledge for this one. I'm going to have to rely on um, good fundamental control of my abilities and my gun. Um, I'm also not going to worry too much about my team composition here, especially on defense. You know, we've got an Alibi, we've got a Mute, we've got a Jaeger, we've got a Valk, we've got an Aruni. Oh, um, the... the uh, Whoever that was, switch to Vigil. The mute switch to Vigil. Um, you know, we don't really have a coherent setup in terms of wall denial, things like that. But again, right now, I'm worried about my gunplay, uh, warming up my aim, doing the things I need to do. So one of the things I need to make sure that I do is I need to find some good place to put laser gates up. And also, I want to make this um, a hard wall because this looks like one of the primary ways that they could get into sight. So I don't want them to just have free control over that. Now, I can't place a reinforcement there because it will destroy the ADS. So... That's fine. We'll leave it open. And actually, again, that's not in my control, but watch this. This is in my control. I can now use this as an impromptu murder hole where I can try to lean and peek on the doorway. So, again, is that a misplay on the teammate's part? Probably. But I can turn it into something that we can use. There goes one laser gate. I'm going to put another one on this rotate so we can use it, but they can't use it on us. And then I'm going to put the third one on this doorway. So the site is fairly well protected from a couple different angles. And then I'm also going to put barbed wire here to slow down their entry. And then barbed wire here for the same reason. And I think I'm going to play off of that murder hole that I ended up creating due to the Jaeger. The only thing I really got to watch for is somebody flanking me from here if they come from this way. Oh, teammate died that way. Okay, so I am going to turn my my focus this way. I'm going to kind of watch the Valkyrie. If the Valkyrie goes down, I want to be able to trade off of her. Now, she's standing in the doorway, which is not the best idea. Okay, they did pull off a kill there. They're in the middle of a gunfight. Okay, Valkyrie is backing off, and they're looking the other way. They need to cover my butt here if I'm going to do this. Op four has located a bomb. And he got pinged. There is gunfire happening out there. Again, I'm going to kind of stay back behind the shield. One op four remaining. Hey, I ended up not doing much there, but that's okay, right? I was trying to play off of my teammates. Um, I tried to make the best out of a bad situation with the Jaeger um, being on the wall there. I think it actually ended up making an effective watch on that uh, doorway. It just ended up not being used. Um, let's see. This time, I'm going to go for Kaid. And I'm going to try and electrify some of these barriers that get put up. Actually, you know what? We already have uh, an electric operator because they have a bandit. So I'm going to switch off. And instead, we're going to play Ella. Mind, they switch back off, so I'm going to go back to Kaid, which is probably for the best because I am terrible at aiming with um, Ella's gun. Ella's gun has very wild recoil, and, and so that's something that I need to go into the shooting range and control a little bit more. Something else that's really cool, right? This last weekend was the Siege Invitational, and they crowned the, the world champs, um, and I won't spoil that if you haven't watched it or heard the news, but it was really cool. Um, but they announced the Year 8 roadmap, and one of the cool things that they announced on the Year 8 roadmap is that the shooting range is getting an overhaul or an update to it that is basically going to turn it into aim labs within Siege. So I may not have to use aim labs here in the short future, in the near future, 
to do some of the warm up and training that I was showing off because I might be able to accomplish some of the exact same things inside of Siege. I hope this doesn't kill the Jaeger. It did. Well, sorry, pal. I thought I was enough off to the left, but I accidentally caused the ADS to get eaten. So that's my bad. And I suppose now that these are reinforced, I'll electrify this. Um, yeah, I just want to kind of see what this room looks like since I'm not familiar with this map. There's a window they can come in there, a window they can come in there, stairwell there. Um, I think I'm going to play in here, but I'm going to be listening for them out here. And so I'm going to play off of this pillar for now. Uh, my teammates have that covered. The alibi may give me a um, clue if a teammate comes in. Valkyrie's right out there, so I'm just going to make sure I don't shoot her. Oh, okay. Teammate went down. So I'm going to aim at where I think they're going to come from. Still want a little bit of cover. Okay, I'm going to let Jaeger. Oh, Jaeger didn't move. Trying to aim at head level, which is about right here. Okay. Do I have teammates over there? I do not anymore. Valkyrie's not over there. I think my head might be exposed under this half wall. So if I get shot in the head. Okay, Valkyrie's back that way. Valkyrie just went down. Did Valkyrie go down from the right, or did Valkyrie go down from the left? I think they're to my left. I'm going to play off this pillar and try to use it for cover. Mm. Damn, I got pinched. So watch this. They, I kind of knew that they were in both of those spots, but then they did their... they. I don't know if they coordinated or not, but they both moved into the room at the same time and I had to win two gunfights at once. Now that's going to lead to another topic where I'm going to talk about in a few minutes called learning to play as a team. And that's actually the point where my, uh, my siege team is at is how do they more effectively play as a team? And they've been doing a phenomenal job. Um, we don't need three people with soft breach. Can I switch to something else? Um, Sure, sure. We'll go with stun grenades. We don't have a hard breacher. I might actually switch off from Nomad and go for a hard breacher here. In fact, I'm, I am going to do that. So. Uh, hold on. I'm going to change this back so next time it's not messed up. And then I'm going to switch to... I'm going to switch to Ace. Do I want the Claymore? Yeah, I'll keep we need more saints, crew. Yeah, JJ Kool-Aid's issuing or asking for more saints in the Stream Raiders battle. All right, as we kind of continue this quick play match as we're going through the drone phase, how's everybody doing tonight? We got a lot of people in the chat tonight. It's good to see everybody. And the whole point of this specific quick match is I'm trying to narrate anything that I do that I believe is a mistake. Uh, in the last game that I just played where I died there, um, I think I had the right idea. I just got pinched. I didn't know whether to look left or right. The one thing I could have done, I don't want my drone to die. The one thing I really could have done was committed to looking at one of those. And instead I kept waffling left and waffling right. Um, what I should have done was committed to looking left because I got intel that a teammate had just died from that direction. And so I knew for certain somebody was there Whereas I was just speculating an enemy was coming from right. I don't think it would have changed anything in the long run, but it would have given me a slightly higher chance of taking one gunfight that I knew was there and then pivoting towards the other gunfight that I was anticipating. But Okay, um, I think I brought my drone out over here. Maybe not. But I'm going to throw another one. Because I also want to check with my drone, not with my face. There's a deployable over here. Right. Jump. There's a thorn trap right inside. And then 
there's an opponent behind chassis. So I'm going to attempt to move this way, but I need to be careful. There's this player behind chassis. Oh, I got spotted by a default cam. That's fun. So hello, what I need to do, hello, is I need to uh, move around here. My position was compromised when they saw me on the camera. And so I do not want them to just get a free kill or know where I'm going to come from. And that was also part of my bad because I don't know where the default cameras are in this map. So I think I was, I think I was over here. No, nope, this is different. This is not the same room that I was in. This is, oh, this is where the enemy was. Okay. Oh, Frost Matt, damn it. I got so excited that we had the man advantage and that I could plant diffuser because I thought it was safe that I did not look for the frost trap. That is a rookie mistake and that was entirely my fault. And we'll see if my teammate can get me in. Um, B is open right now. I'm down in a frost mat. All friendlies have been eliminated. I got caught on the way to B. I don't know if they didn't check the room that was nearby. That may have been my bad telling them that I was there, but they also needed to check their angles too. We only had 20 seconds left though, so it was kind of rough. Okay. Um, we have a hard breach this time. That was a misplay on my part. I was playing as Ace and I didn't use his gadget once. So I didn't open a single hard wall to make sight unsafe for the opponent. I think I had the right play in moving around and flanking the thorn who knew that I was on there from the camera, but then I didn't check underneath the shield. It's a very common thing, especially in low elo play, to do deployable shield frost mat because frost can take deployable shields with her. Um, and that was just my bad for not checking it. Jack Jan's good. Hey, I haven't seen Jack Jan in the chat in a while. Hey, Jack Jan. Jack Jan is one of our siege players. I love those guys. All right, this may be match point, and so if it is, we'll do Stream Raiders here in just a moment. Hopefully, we have enough units to take this fight. All right, they do not appear to be up here. It sounds like they're downstairs. How am I doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. I'm tired, man. We had a busy weekend because we ran and ran a tournament in Fairfield, and the night before that, I was also in Fairfield for a concert. I, I drove down and back twice. And it just took a lot out of me. Yesterday, we didn't have anything going on, but I ended up taking a nap in the afternoon when the girls went down for their nap time. And uh, I think I'm still kind of lagging behind because of that. All right, I'm going to try to go in with this Ash. Ooh, I think one of them just broke that. That could have been my death. I'm going to follow Ash into the building. I'm going to try to play off of her. She went all the way to third floor, which, I mean... Oh, and we all kind of reconvened over here. So, you know, that's a thing. So we're going to make any plays. There's the default cam. Took us a couple minutes to shoot it, but it's all right. It's all right. So they know that three or four of us are up here. Ooh, we did not check when we dropped. Okay. I'm going to cover our flank. Got spotted by a default cam we didn't watch for... Okay, so if they come that way, hopefully the air jab will get them. I'm going to keep watching this way. Because they're all looking forward. They don't need another pair of eyeballs that way. Plus, I might just shoot a teammate if they walk in my way on accident. Okay, we dropped diffuse. Now I'm going to be listening for the air jab to go off. Here's somebody that I don't think is a teammate. I don't know what that kill was. Oh, maybe a fuse fuse charge. There's Ash. All right, Ash, go ahead. Let's go downstairs. We need to try to recover the diffuser. Um, I'm going to put an air jab here. That way, if they come from up there, we're covered that way. Go ahead and take out the deployable. What did she shoot? Oh, um, Ash, you can't blow up hard walls with your charge. Sorry, bud.
I don't have a hard breach charge, so I don't know what you want from me, bruh. Okay, check for the frost mat. Thorn trap. What Ash could do is use her charge on that wall. Okay, no. Oh, she did. I she did the thing I told her to do, and I was in the blast radius. We didn't get diffuser, did we? Son of a bitch. I said we gotta go pick up the diffuser, and then I didn't do it. Are they watching diffuse? If they were smart, they would be watching diffuse. Yep, and I didn't check. So once again, that's my mistake. Yeah, we're kind of screwed. I said the right things, and then I did completely the wrong things. We needed to go get Diffuser, and then we could have had a chance at planting Bomb, because it looked like Sight was free, but then I completely forgot my own advice and did not take it. That's okay. Match is over. We'll go ahead and do Stream Raiders here when we get back to Lobby. Did y'all forget the Bomb? We did, in fact, forget the Bomb. We did, in fact, forget the Bomb. Okay. All right, let me switch over to Stream Raiders. Switch you guys over to Stream Raiders. 19 units on the battlefield. We have a couple of Rangers over there to kind of draw their attention. We got some flag bearers. We got some melee units. I Guys, I think we can do it. I think we can do it. So let's see. This will be the first five-star battle that we win if we're able to take it. So let's see if we can do this. I'm really hoping the lizards go after the archers. No, they didn't do it. Well, oh my God. We wrecked the boss. Good job. Sweet. I, again, I think that's our first five star success. All right. So um, let's see. There's way too many of you in here. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da, da, da. I'm going to go ahead and give this to Timmy, I suppose. And we'll give this one to JJ and then CJ. I'll catch you on the next one. Cool. We actually did it. So now we're on the next map. That means, guy, if you keep that momentum going, we can just steamroll. Boss defeated. Um, beat each chapter, unlock the next map. Okay, how do I go to the next map? That's what I want. I want to go to... The, oh, we're on the next map. Um, We're going to start on the top lane. No, I did not hear about them. Nor do I care. Blah, 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 blah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. All right, we just have a bunch of Abyssal Hounds scattered throughout the map. They are good against armored targets. So we want to use things like Warriors and Assassins and other melee units that are not, or even ranged, I suppose. Um, but we really wanted to stick away from the armored units this time. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my level 9 Warrior on the battlefield, and I'm just going to stick him right in the middle. And then we will, uh, we will go from there. So... Go ahead and start plopping units on there. I'm going to flip back over to Rainbow Six Siege. And then we are going to play our next game here. So um, the next topic that I wanted to talk about as we get queued up here, and we're actually going to go into Unranked instead. Unranked is a much better environment. Um, but it's talking about learning to win. And so a couple weeks back when we were talking to our players, the teams have progressed so far in such a short amount of time that it's really been remarkable and that's because they've been coming together as a team and they've been dedicating a lot of time and resources to learning about new knowledge and strategies that they didn't have before. Um, and so what we're seeing is there's actually been a gap, and this happens naturally in games, there's a gap between where their knowledge is at and where their ability to execute on that knowledge is at. And that creates inconsistency, right? Because my play can be anywhere between what I can execute and what I know, and it's going to fluctuate between those two things. And so learning to win is the way of how do I become more consistent? Okay, we can't ban Nighthaven. Most people go for banning Outback, which I actually, I don't hate that map other than the spawn peaks. Looks like my team split between Canal and Outback. Let's ban Outback because we haven't seen Canal in a while. Consulate's out, Cafe, or sorry, Outback. Oh, we got Nighthaven. 
Okay, I'm sure the teammates will love this one. Um, but you see a lot of inconsistency when your knowledge outpaces your execution or when you've peaked on your execution, but you don't know... Um, I'm going to ban Jackal, that's fine. But you don't know kind of where to go next, right? You've exhausted your knowledge, and so you've kind of peaked as a player because you don't, you haven't learned anything new. And so those are kind of the two areas where that gap exists. You want to see me play Apex? I haven't played Apex since 2019. Um, but maybe we can play Apex at some point here. They banned Grim. That's a useless ban. I think that might be a troll ban. Um, and so... What we've talked about is, is is one of the inconsistencies that can happen when you have that gap in knowledge and execution is that you're trying so hard to do those high level strategies and that new information that you've learned that you are not, um, who do they want to ban? Clash, come on, we don't ban the Clash. Um, that you you start to end up slipping on, on what my team calls the small things, um, what my siege team calls the small things. So like reinforcements, uh, droning, um, proper crosshair placement like these simple things that by this point in their play are or should be automatic um but because they're focusing on these higher level things these lower level things are slipping and so we kind of dialed things back and said no before we learn anything new we're going to keep reinforcing these fundamental things until they become second nature to you and that has really helped them a lot because they they are very rarely dropping the small things anymore um and so Love they've that. been very consistent in their last couple of games hello Hello and welcome. Secure the bomb. Um, and so learning to win means that you have to identify where you're, what's creating your gap. Is your gap being created? Are we not going to reinforce that, bruh? Is the gap being created by a lack of knowledge or is the gap being created by an inability to execute? Um, because both are valid, both are important. But if you can identify which one it is, then you can work to overcome it. So again, if it's a, if it's that my knowledge outpaces my execution, then I need to refine my execution before I start learning or layering in new things. If it's that my execution outpaces my knowledge, then it's time for me to uh, learn some new things and stick stick to learning new strategies, new new callouts, whatever it might be. Um, and that is going to create consistency within your player and within your team. And consistency is the key to winning games, right? As, as Coach Andrew says, even bad teams win games here and there. Um, but what makes a team good is consistently performing well and consistently winning. Winning more than you lose. Don't have to win all the time, but winning more than you lose creates a good team. So it looks like um, I'm watching the doorway, but so is the Jaeger. So is the Aruni. So me looking this way may not be the best idea. I'm watching out for this drone hole here. We had a trade that occurred over this way. So I'm going to let Jaeger kind of handle. Okay, Jaeger went down over there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play behind Pillar. I'm going to protect myself from the doorway on the left. I'm going to protect the Jaeger res. Oh, they ran in front of me. There we go. Okay, there's someone over here on, on the doorway. On three ping. Okay. Don't check, don't check, don't check, don't check. Just move into the room, don't check. They don't drone me out. They just move in the room. I'm good to go. I need to move my crosshair a little bit higher. They're, I'm expecting to rush when the smoke goes away. Oh, nope, because he's going to cover it with another smoke. It's three to two. We have man advantage here. We know one of them was last seen here, so I'm going to keep my attention on this doorway. Okay, same doorway as before. Okay, I need to focus on this one because I know it's there. Okay, there's the one. Okay, don't repeat the same angle. Oh, I body blocked it. I, okay, so watch that. I didn't see them, and I think it's because I was aiming down sight or whatever, and so I think part of my character model was blocking where they were at. I was looking at the doorway thinking they'd retreated back through. So that was my bad. I could have clutched that one up. We're going to go command center again. Mechanical skill, game knowledge, game sense. Absolutely. And I think, hey, Dorman, I think uh, one of the other things that a lot of players um, need to do in order to improve is they need to develop that game sense. And the thing that's hard about that 
is there is no real shortcut for developing game sense. Game sense is things like, I'm aware of the way the map's laid out. I'm aware of where I should be playing from. I'm aware of where the enemy is likely to come in from. It's it, it's general like knowledge of the way that the game functions and the way people play the game and where my role is within the game. The only way to speed that process up at all is to constantly be reflecting or thinking about where your gaps are while you're playing, right? And then playing with intention, trying to overcome those gaps. But other than that, it's just reps. It's just time, and it's literally, it's literally just that. Um, let's see here. They came from this way last time and a little bit this way. Come on, drone. Where'd you go? Drone decided to back out. That was smart. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to reinforce this because that way the gap that is just created in the window there is safe. And I will, um, try to electrify this with Kaid. Can't remember. If I do it perfectly, can Kaid hit all three panels with this? Law. I think the answer is yes. Yep, perfect. Now I'm going to do a similar play to before. I think this isn't a bad place to play. But I think rather than watching there, I'm going to watch here first. Yep. Some debris that flew out that way. Definitely coming from this way. So on the left of door. So I gunfire there. Back up so I have a tighter angle, but I don't want to be exposed to doorway here. Flores drone. They blew open the wall. I need to get I need to learn how to jiggle peek. Try to cover smoke here. He's exposed. Yeah, I hear them. Now, the mistake I'm making, I don't know what that was. The mistake I'm making is that... Oh, did they shoot my Cade Claw? I'm holding a way too wide of an angle on this doorway. Here we go. Ready? Floor is going to drone me out. We're holding a cross angle. We know they're both in there. We got the ping on both. I'm going to get the laser gate back up by moving away. Papkin and I are holding a cross. If they attempt to go this way, we should be able to get them as long as we hold good angles. Uh-oh. So that came from over here. Oh, and then I looked right at him. Okay. Ah, damn. I had the right idea, but I, I couldn't flick and pull it off. Dang. Oh, I needed to reset the gate, didn't I? Whoops. What's the potions for on Stream Raiders? I don't know. One card that because you put your claws up that high that it's predictable and could be countered by game. Indeed. Indeed it could. So I think I put my claw up on the wood that time. And so if they knew that that was there, they could have just shot through the wood to get rid of it. So that is a great point. Um, Let's see... Where are they going? Same side again. Well, we'll stick to them one more time. But I'm going to put my claws in a different space so they're not as predictable. Oh, that's what makes your units epic? I didn't know that. Okay, um, I think this wall is still a good one to reinforce. <clears throat> but what we're going to try this time. Now, this is going to be counterable as well. But... Instead of them shooting up here, uh, I'm going to throw them kind of down here. And I'm, instead of going on floor level, I'm going to go like that. Um, 
We're still gonna protect this wall. The other three claws. And then I'm gonna play in a different room this time. I should get all three. Yeah, I was gonna play over here. We'll see if a Rooney does it instead. Um, let's see. I'm gonna go for right now. I'm gonna play back here. So I could get wall banged from here if they shoot through it. Rooney just got one. That was aggressive because that means that they came in. They were rushing. Oh, we got a hard breach coming in behind me. I don't think it stopped. Okay, Thunderbird, do your thing. Here's a hard breach. Oh, shoot. I'm getting shot. I think I'm getting shot from that room. Where's Thunderbird? Thunderbird is no that longer there. She's over there. Somebody in that room. Okay, we're going to take the second to hang up the phone. Gate just got destroyed. Okay, we're we're both in the same room, which is not good. Can I rotate? I don't know the map very well. Uh, this is bad because I'm going to give him free access to site, but I'm going to try to rotate. I'm going to try rotating on a map where I don't know where to go. It's going to take me down. I don't want to go down. Go up. Yep, I screwed myself. Yeah, damn it. The right idea, I don't think flanking was a terrible idea, but I gave complete control of sight over and let them plant freely, which then forced myself to play in a post-plant situation in a 1v4. You're probably not winning that. Yeah, we might go 0-4. I hope not. Okay, now we're on attack. Let's see what the team's doing. So we got a soft, or we got an entry frag, flank watch, like utility denial. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go ace. Get some hard breach going. A little bit more flank watch with the claymores. But yeah, it's kind of just going through a drone phase here. The, the big topic of this one is, again, it's, it's learning to win. It's identifying the gaps in your knowledge, your execution, and your game sense. Yeah, that's the, that's the music I need to pump me up so we can start turning this game around. Um, and for an individual player, that could change it at any given moment, right? Sometimes it's going to be that your knowledge is higher than what you can perform. Sometimes it's going to be your game sense is too low. And being able to kind of identify what that is is important. Um, the next topic uh, is called learning to lose, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. And then I actually have another one that I'll mention that we haven't actually mentioned in practice yet, which is called um, playing to win. And playing to win and learning to win are two completely different things. I should have saved my drone. Let's see if I can hide it out here. Okay. I don't think I spawned anywhere near that drone. I spawned by myself with diffuse. No, I didn't. Zero spawned with me. Good old Zero. I thought there was a default cam over here. Yep, it did. He popped the hole open in that wall. What's that? Oh, you know what? I also haven't messed with, since they changed uh, extended barrels, I haven't messed with that at all. Okay, he's just kind of looking through the wall there. I'm going to let him do his thing, I suppose. But we need to get inside, especially if this wall is open. Okay. Um. I mean, are you waiting for me, bruh? So it looks like he was watching that window, and then the second that he needed to be watching it, he might have left it, because I think the enemy was in here. No guy. Oh, right there. Okay, I'm not going to repeat the same angle again. Teammates know that it's there. I'm going to 
come in behind them. I'm going to place this here. So they can't try to flank us. Although it looks like Zofia is coming from, up, uh, up from downstairs as well. Uh, they did never got the kill, so the enemy backed off. Okay, I'm going to throw a drone. Okay. They're right in that room. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, we need to keep moving, though. Minute and a half. Can't just be sitting here, boys. Is my claymore still up? Oh! Damn! Uh, behind us, flank. So I screwed up twice there. I had the right idea in checking that the claymore was gone, but then when I died, I had like the shocked reaction and slammed my arm down instead of immediately calling out that they were behind us so my teammates could have swung. Would you say this is attacker sided or defender sided? The map, I mean. Um, I would say that Night Haven is a little bit more. Um, a little bit more attacker sighted but that's from really limited experience that i have just because there's a lot of um there's a lot of different angles that the attackers can take on this site compared to some of the other ones there's also several places that have um external soft walls um and so i think that can make it a little bit more attacker favored which isn't typical of most siege maps but i don't know somebody with higher knowledge than mine will probably be like no actually you're full of shit. it's a way defender heavy map And it also, again, I am, um, now nah, we want the premium credit. Um, I'm also talking from the perspective of being in solo queue, right? Where I'm not working with a coordinated team and that makes a big difference. If you're playing on a coordinated team, then it may be much more, uh, defender friendly. Hey, we got the dumpling. All right. We have 11 minutes left on stream raiders so we probably don't have enough time for an unranked but we do have enough time to go back into a uh, quick match so let me talk about the next topic on the list the next topic is called learning to lose so every player at some point in their journey every player or every team will have a match that they lose right even the greatest of athletes the greatest of teams they never win 100 percent of the time you are going to lose a round or a game at some point and that is okay right what is important then is you have to learn how to lose with with dignity right um and it's hard to do when you've never encountered that before right if you're on a roll if you're winning if things are going well um then it's it's uh yeah dorman's never lost see oh shoot connection failure let's give that another shot um but that that's that's hard right uh and so there's a couple of key things I think that are important to losing. The first is again, not shifting the focus of your loss to that external locus of control, right? Oh, I, we lost this game because of my teammates. We lost this game because of whatever. You cannot do that because the, the, the thing that's important about losing, right? Is you, you have to learn from your loss. You have to learn why you lost and identify your shortcomings your weaknesses otherwise you're never going to start improving and so if i lose and immediately start blaming it on other factors again then i'm not learning i'm just going to ram my head into the same brick wall over and over again and get frustrated over the same things over and over again because it wasn't my fault um the other thing then is is being able to reflect and identify specifically um, what it is that held you back. So not only do I have to say like, hey, what could I or my team have done differently? But then you have to have enough enough knowledge and enough expertise in the game to identify what that thing was. Um, sometimes it's going to be very basic things like, oh, I should have pre-fired there. Oh, I needed to use my drones more efficiently. Oh, I needed to, you know, communicate better with my team, right? Communication is a huge one. Um, but every once in a while, it's, uh, am I saying, are you saying I'm bad? No, I'm definitely not saying that you're bad. If I'm losing, I just DC so it doesn't track. Yeah, I had a friend that used to do that with uh, Mario Kart on the DS. He would go into the uh, into his, the, the shower in his basement um, if it was uh, not going his way, and he would disconnect because in uh, Mario Kart on the DS, if it was a disconnect, it didn't count as a loss. I don't think I want to reinforce this wall. So if he was doing well but was about to lose, then he would uh, he would he would go into the, the 
basement shower in DC. Like a coward. Um, let's see. Um, I'm just gonna throw these here. But again, the other part of, it, of learning to lose is being able to reflect upon that loss and identify what it was that you need to work on. Because even, even like, uh, you know, you can get over the toxic habit of being like, well, this is bullshit, we lost because of X, Y, and Z. Or the worst thing you can do is, oh, we lost and then blaming it on your teammates. Um, but even if you get over that hump or you're not somebody that does that, you're not going to get... Um, um, you're not going to get better in any meaningful way if you then can't figure out like well what went wrong what can i what can i fix i place my stuff in shit spots it's all good i hate this map um and that could be a lot of things right again it could be it goes back to then those those gaps in your knowledge your execution or your game sense i'm only going to be able to reflect on why i lost if i know enough about the game or my play to realize what i needed to be doing instead sometimes a lot of times it's honestly really basic fundamental things that if you thought back and or reviewed your video you'd be like why was i doing that that was a stupid decision um but in the moment when you're focused on too many other things it's easy to forget that so we're gonna play off chassis here don't drone don't drone don't drone peek with your face peek with your face please i'm hoping i can get shot from the doorway on the left my ass might also be exposed in the hallway. Teammate keeps shooting at that. Oh, they burned the laser gate. Oh shit, it's Monty. Monty on five pink. So, okay, good. We knew we needed to play. So what happens is Monty is always going to play off somebody else. And so we needed to ignore the Monty and focus on the person that was coming in. And that's exactly what we did. I'll keep him at bay. You guys focus on other targets. Good stuff. Wow. Oof. That was a good shot. But far too often, I think the biggest thing holding players back when they lose or have a bad game or even a bad round is is blaming other things right oh this is bullshit oh that character's overpowered oh this doesn't work that way oh there's nothing i could have done oh the lag and it's like just just shut up okay maybe some of those things are true but that's not going to help you get better and it's not a good look especially when you're trying to be a professional um you know you're trying to play as a member of a team a representative it just, it's not a good look um the other thing too right is you also talk about losing within a round right so you're also going to have games where you're generally doing fairly well but Bruh. You're losing close rounds um, that you shouldn't have lost. Uh, and so learning to lose is talking. It, it's also about like adapting to, um, you know, losing a situation that you thought you had. Right. Uh, a game starts to go out of favor. Right. Maybe you were up three one and then you're down four six and you're like, OK, we got to clutch this up or we're going to lose the game. Right. And so it's learning about how to make those um mental adjustments so that you're not carrying bad energy from one round into the next round right um what i always always tell my players is every single round is different from the last this is true of mario kart this is true of siege this is true of every single game that we play um you know the only time where that's really not 100 percent true is a mobo like league of legends where you can have what's called a snowball effect but in virtually every other situation every round is unique from each other and so if one round doesn't go your way, you can always try to take it back the next round. Um, and the first step of that is, all right, let's shake it off. Let's run that back. We got this, right? That positivity, that belief that you can do it. But then the other part of it is identifying those minor adjustments that you can make to your strategy in order to do it. One of the things I'll see players do when they have the best of intentions is that they will um, shake it off and say they've got it. And then what they'll also do is they'll they'll say like well you know what you know what the problem was our strategy's way off so instead of making like a little minor adjustment they'll completely change up a strategy um and play with a new a new like team comp or a new operator right like maybe their attack failed so then they switch to a monty comp sometimes that works and we've seen that happen against our own siege team hello they didn't die they didn't die they didn't... oh they went down though okay um 
But that's not always the right call, right? Especially if it was close. So it, it comes down to some minor things of like, do I need to change the whole strategy or do we just need to refine something that could otherwise work? The other problem with that sometimes though, right, is maybe you do need to make a big adjustment, a big shakeup in order to gain the upper hand. And you keep doubling down on trying the same thing with minor adjustments too many times in a row. I'm going to go back. No idea where they're coming from. Oh, shoot. There it is. Uh, coming around the corner on five pink. Well, then. Um, and that's hard, right? That's hard to identify as a team. That's hard to identify as a player. It's sometimes hard to make that call as a coach. Um, of like, you know, is it time for us to completely shake up what we're doing and try to go for a win here? Or do we try to refine um, something that was just a little bit off? I would argue that more than more often than not, it's making a minor adjustment to something that, that was close to working. An example of this that I've seen is I've had players that, uh, I can't stand that SMG with that small mag. That plan is a Rooney, yeah. Yeah, it does have a really small magazine. Um, but what I've seen happen, especially, this happens in the games like Smash a lot. Somebody will lose a game, and then, or they'll lose two games, and they'll be like, oh, the problem is that my character matchup's bad, so I gotta change my character. Maybe changing my character is the remedy, right? And unless you have a really deep, um, unless you have like a really deep uh, knowledge of more than one character in Smash, then that's generally, at least at the level we play at, that's generally not the play. Especially if it was like, man, I lost, but it was close. Okay, then why would you change characters? Unless you can play the other one just as well as the one you're currently playing, then switching characters is generally going to be a bad idea. All right, Castle, shoot my drone. Is he going to chase it? I think he might leave it. Like, you made the choice to use small mags. Like, why? Yeah? I mean, you're not wrong. And then the last thing I'll say on this last round about, about learning to lose is at the end of the day, you still have to be able to tell yourself, look, yeah, we lost. Yeah, it sucks. But it's still just a game, right? And that can be really hard when you're playing on a on a, an organized team. Obviously, if you're if you're a pro, maybe it's a little bit of a different conversation because your livelihood is dependent on that game. Um, but at the end of the day, you gotta go, you know, it's it's just a game. Take a break from it, refocus my mental energy, come back with it. And also, and this really doesn't happen in matches. Oh my god. Uh, this doesn't really happen in matches so much because you might just be playing a couple set things. But like, if you're playing casually with friends or you're practicing, it may be like, you know what? I just need to step away from the PC, step away from the keyboard. Because I just keep playing round after round after round after round after round and I'm getting tilted and my decision making is getting worse. And oh my god, we've been off drone phase forever. And I checked and then I just started talking and I just kept going. Yeah, and now I keep missing the barricade. Also, I have, oh, bombs down there. Okay. Spotted by scan, shoot. I'm not a fan of yacht either, by the way. Somebody. We need to get the site. There's only one of them. I don't want to go play hide and seek. I'll let them go in. I'm going to kind of watch the flank. There we go. Smash generally panic in the corner. The tight matchup, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and and the other part, too, and, and this doesn't really fit into the, mind, the, the, the learning to win or learning to lose or whatever it is, but a, a giant barrier for a lot of people, myself included, is trying to keep your cool during tense situations because you have players, and this honestly what this comes down to, it, it is a gap between your knowledge and your execution. And it's kind of like the last step in that gap between knowledge and execution is that um, 
if you can do it in practice and you can do it in workshop and you can do it in friendlies, but then you can't do it when you get into a, an actual like real match um, because of nerves or anything like that, then that is a that is a barrier and that that is a problem. And so it's like, how do I how do I wow. do that? How do I get better at that piece? We go down this path and get the thing for glass because I don't really want it. Do we go back this way? P90 skin. I have black black eyes for P90 though. Yeah, we'll worry about it later. Um, let's flip over to Stream Raiders. All right, I'm not even gonna. Oh my god, we're just gonna wreck shop on this one. How many units is this? Twenty four. All right, promise CJ some units this time. And I think it's Dorman that needs stuff this time. It's either Dorman or JJ. Can't remember. I can't remember. I only get one winner. Okay, well then I guess it's gonna be CJ this time. Okay. Collect, 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 collect. Scrolls are these. Warrior scrolls. Man, our warrior's just gonna be decked out. Holy tank skin. I like that. All right, let's go into the top lane for the next two. Actually, yeah, top lane, next two star battle. And this will be our last Stream Raiders battle looking at time here, because it's gonna end about 10.45. We have a bunch of Abyss Wardens. They have damage protection against range. We're just gonna mow them down with melee units. I think even, um, uh, never mind. I thought one of the melee units ignored armored damage. Maybe not. And actually we run an easy battle. We may, okay, Barbarian does AOE damage. 10 bonus versus armor. There it is. Okay, I'm going to actually drop a barbarian down over here with your units. Whoops. All right, let's do this. So as we switch back to siege, there is um, another topic that I want to focus on. It also looks like I got an invite from one of my players. And actually, this would be a really good opportunity to hop in with them if, if they would like to do that. Well, let me accept a game invite. Here, um, you may need to leave the party to join the, this one. I'm not in a party. All right, give me just a second here. I'm going to flip over to my webcam for a second while I fiddle with um, Discord and some things. Because it looks like the team invited me to play with them. And the next thing I was going to talk about was how to play as a team. So this would actually be perfect. Because if I ask them some questions, I'll be playing. But I need to get Discord open so I can talk to them first. And that means you should hear them on stream here in a second. You should use the deployment plans in case someone has a quest to follow your plan. I don't know what that, I don't even know what that means. Use the deployment plans. What are the deployment plans? Or did I even see those? Okay. Um, are they in the server? They're not in the server. So they invited me to play, but they're not. I'm going to join the channel anyway. I'm going to make sure my Discord settings are good to go. Yep. And then I'm going to see if I can accept the invite. Maybe I'll invite them. Yeah, I can't join him. I'm not in a party, bruh. Hmm. You assign positions for support, warriors, etc. You can cheat and just put free for all too. Where do I, uh, okay, you can put down unit type for deployment. Oh, I didn't even know that was a thing. So instead of me just verbally saying, hey, we should put 
this unit here, that unit there, I can actually like mark that on the game. Oh, battle planning. Holy shit. That's a game changer. Okay. All right. Well, I'll start using that. That's cool. Yeah, I found it. I'm going to message these guys real quick because two of them are sitting in the game and they messaged me and invited me to play. Give me a second here. I just sent a message here. We're going to hang out here for a second. But as we're kind of waiting to get this figured out, uh, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that when we're talking about coaching mindsets specifically with Siege, um, all of those things still apply. But it's like, okay, well, how do I how do I get better as a Siege player? And what I'm really meaning is how do I get better with team stuff? There's a million ways you can improve at Siege as an individual player. But what's really important about getting better at Siege, you know, it's learning the basics like utility use using resources, stuff like that. And that's important because Siege is different than a lot of shooters, right? It's not as run and gun, nuts, balls to the walls like Call of Duty is. Hey, Prologue. Um, but at the same time, like, Siege has utility. It has drones. It has gadgets. It's all about wasting time. It's all about playing objective. And not every other shooter works that way. But the biggest thing to success, and this is what my team's been doing an incredible job of, has been learning how to actually play as a team, right? You're not playing as five solo stacked people that happen to be together and can talk to each other. Like you're actually playing as a team, right? You're going in in formations, you're securing trades, you're setting up plays where you're, you have a buddy or a buddy system. Um, you're calling out flanks and when you need support, you're holding rooms and letting people know when you have to leave those rooms. You're setting up cross angles. Um, you're playing two man advantages when you all of these different things that come down to learning to play Siege as a team that is way different from playing Siege casually. What is going on here? I pinged one of them. Let me see. Are they still online? Yeah, they both still are. What is that emote? Hot friend. Hmm. That reminds me of uh, Elden Ring and Let Me Solo Her, where they wore the pot on their head. All right. Let me flip back to uh, Siege for a second. Uh, one of the things that we can do while we are waiting to figure out what's going on is we have enough renown that we might be able to purchase a new character. Um, you guys may have heard me whining about this before. I opened my Christmas pack way back when, and it gave me Blackbeard, which kind of sucks. Um, I could get Jackal, but he always gets banned. My only attackers that I'm missing, right? Jackal, Amar uh, Amaru, Flores, Osa. Osa uh, Flores and Osa are both fantastic. They're both also both quite a bit more expensive, so I can't get them yet. On the defender side, I'm missing Echo. Um, Echo used to get banned all the time, not so much anymore. He would be okay, but not really my play style. Clash, I don't want. Um, I just don't like the shield style. She gets banned out a lot. Warden's situationally good. Um, I've had a couple, uh, at least one player that uses him to good effect. He's not bad. His gun's pretty decent, but again, not really my style. Honestly, uh, on defenders, the next one that I want is, I want a zombie, but she's still brutally expensive. Thorn's not bad. So I'm probably going to end up saving for one of these two since they're 18k. I'll actually just save that and then let's figure out where we want to go in the battle pass um i don't want that okay here we go 
go for some Mav stuff. I don't play Mav. Go for the Yana thing, but the Yana thing's gross. We could go up for our boy Fuse. Yeah, let's go up. Let's go up towards Fuse. This thing is terrible. I hate trying to navigate this. So, can I, like... There he was. So we need to go up this way. Yeah, there we go. We'll keep going up this way. That gives us... Yeah, I don't mind this. We have a breach charge. We're not wasting it on that. Azuni Bay, she makes the best pancakes. Warden's mustache is OP. I mean, both of those statements are 100% true. I'm not hearing anything from my team. So if that's the case, I'm not going to waste any more time. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and play an unranked, but I promise you what's going to happen is the second I queue up, they're going to be like, oh yeah, here I am. So, we'll see. That is okay. Yeah, your mind, your mindset in Siege is, is reframing the way that you think about first-person shooters, because Siege has a lot of gadgets and utility that make it play a lot differently than some other games. Um, and then really, when you're not solo queuing like I am, it's learning how do you play effectively with your team. And honestly, that has to be a dedicated team that you're playing with over and over again. It's not like, oh, every weekend, like for a while I was doing Siege every Saturday night with Dorman and Timmy and some other people. Um, but even just doing it like once a week with like the three or four people that can show up is not is not the same. You need a group of people that plays consistently as a three, four, five stack, and they're talking constantly about how they can play off of each other and work together. Okay. You should dock their grades 3%. I actually don't have either one of them in the class right now. I haven't had them in any classes yet so far, which is unfortunate. Um, I'm going to vote out Stadium Bravo. I'm not a fan of that map. I love Coastline. I love Oregon. Consulate's all right. Consulate's getting a rework next year. If we get Night Haven again, it's whatever. Uh-oh. Hey, we got Coastline. I love Coastline. They've got Coastline on stream the other day as well. All right, who do I not want as an attacker? Honestly, I don't want to get rid of Amaro. I also want to get rid of like someone like Ace or Habana. Not wasting a yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. Troll teammate tried to ban Am Amaru when she didn't get banned. They left game. And we're in unranked, right? So that's just a fourth spot. That's a spot that's not opening unless it was a disconnect and it was just coincidence. I do love the coastline. Oh god, they banned Jacqueline Cavera. Cool. Do we do we. Complete the trifecta and ban Clash? Nah. Well, my. They're not going to use Wamai. Well, I'd rather ban Bandit because I don't think they're going to use Wamai. Well, okay. We're defending first. We're going to take Hookah. Yeah, I think we're going to take Hookah. Let's. Yep. Everybody's in favor of that. Um. We're gonna go frost. Clash it up. Make them suffer. I don't even have clash. Um I love lamp. I also love lamp. Rick, are you just looking around at things in the room and saying that you love them? Uh if you guys didn't see it, there's a frost rework that's coming uh next year. And like the, when they revealed it at the uh, at the invitational, it was just like universal booze. Um, we'll see if people warm up to it over time. We'll see if it actually makes it to the live server or if UB scraps it. But essentially, you can now self revive from a frost mat, but you revive with um, 20, 20 HP. Ooh. You revive with twenty HP and um. I do the thing. I do the thing. No. Um, you revive with 20 HP. You can't sprint anymore, and you leave this really like obvious blood trail behind wherever you go. 
we're gonna play we're gonna play here i don't know if this is a good shield spot in this site or not we're gonna do it so we have a little tiny gap here and we can also go like this this also gives us ability to look in this way if we're playing back here it's a little bit trickier but right now we have some cover I heard Frostman getting, yeah, it is getting reworked. And I don't know if it's going to be bad or good. I think a lot of people are saying, like, look, Frost doesn't need a rework, but, like, somebody like Blackbeard does. Somebody like Kavera does. And I think that's fair. I think in some ways it takes away a lot of Frost utility because, like, I mean, you saw me step into Frost Mat tonight because I'm stupid and I didn't check. Um, Tally outside of Billiards. My position's not safe anymore. I'm not going to peek that. Instead, I'm going to try to do this. I didn't realize she had an angle on me when I went that way. Oh man. That was poor play on my part. I thought I was doing the smart thing of going over the counter and moving into luggage, and I didn't realize that line of sight's that deep. That sucks. Good job, Callie. Cool vibes. They are also implementing an yes, they are implementing a new anti-cheat system to catch the X, uh, the Zim users, the XIM. Um, so basically, on console, there's been a lot of people using a third-party device, and that allows them to plug a keyboard and mouse into their Xbox or PlayStation, but the game still thinks they're using a controller. So they're playing on keyboard and mouse against people on controller and giving themselves a huge advantage. That's been a problem in Siege for years, and a couple other first-person shooters as well, and it was a very hard nut for them to crack. Um, but, uh, I guess the developers, some of the development team at Siege figured out how to do it. So they can identify when someone's using the, uh, X, uh, Zim, uh, and using keyboard mouse on console. And they've made it so that once they detect that you're using it, it starts to increase your input delay, which means that it, it takes longer between when you press a button to when it actually happens on screen. So that's cool. Um, let's see. Yeah, but not being able to, sp uh, sprint at one fifth health is super crippling. Yeah. Yeah. And that's the thing, right? Like, oh. Coming in luggage. They're in luggage doorway. They threw an aid. Shout out default cam. Um, apparently they didn't disconnect. It was or they didn't uh, quit. It was a disconnect. Yeah, I agree. Like, it is super crippling, and not being able to sprint sucks, and the blood trail is going to be awful because no matter where you go, because I think it's permanent. Once you come back up, you're constantly bleeding. And so it is going to make you obvious where you're at no matter what. So it is going to put you at a disadvantage. Um, what I was trying to say is, like, you know, frost mats very rarely get people unless they're not checking or they're placed in um, uncommon spots. And, again, I say that realizing that I um, plopped into one earlier. Um, so I think in some ways it lost some of its utility, but it might end up being a good thing. I, <clears throat> I think thematically it's really cool. The idea that she's like this trapper who's like hunting down her opponents by uh, bear trapping them. And then um, we have a mirror. No. And then, um, and then hunting them down when they're bleeding and trying to limp away. I think that's cool. Did I get all three? I don't think I got all three. Oh, I did. Um, let's see. Is it going to be on this wall? Look at G's Call of Duty. Well, there is aim assist on controller, but even with aim assist, it's not as good as having the precision of a keyboard and mouse. I got droned out. Let's see, we have somebody playing um, over in VIP. We have somebody playing behind shields. We have somebody watching there. I'm going to go deep roam. Maybe. We're going to go play over here. Kind of in the same room I was before. Right now. Let's see. 
Everybody's up. Oh, somebody down in a, a frost mat? Somebody got down in a frost mat, but I don't know where it's at. Oh, Monty outside uh, upper 90. Right outside VIP. Come on, Monty. Yep, they're playing off the Monty, which is smart. Um, there's somebody playing off the Monty. Pinged her. I don't think she's dead, though. Monty going towards luggage. Oh, damn it. It was going to work, too. Watch this. Boom. I could have popped it. Ah. I didn't want to have, have him see me throw it. And had he been by himself, I would have got him. There's a Yana behind the Monty. Yana's still up somewhere. No way. Okay. Monty's last one left. Just hold sight. Make him come to you. He can't do anything by himself. I'm reloading. Good stuff. Man, that person has nine kills. I mean, well, I'm 0-2, but I've got four assists. I'm down to hop in for a game or two if you are still going to play. Um, I'm going to play until exactly 11 or as close as I can get. So we, we, uh, Jacob, we may be able to squeeze in like one unranked or one quick play if you're down. Yeah, he played greedy there. That's not the play I would have done. It paid off. We had enough people to do it. But one of the things I always coach my players, um, Jacob's heard this many times um, because we've talked about it with all of the teams, which is you play conservatively when you're ahead. That was a risk that that guy did not need to take. Playing a uh, kitchen. Okay. Again, a Monty by themselves is pretty much screwed. So you just kind of bait out the timer, and and they're they're kind of in trouble. All right, I guess I'll help reinforce this. Okay. Yeah. If you wanna, um, I'm not in the Discord anymore. But if you wanna hop into the server and hang out and. Whatever, then as soon as this one's over I will slide in there and we can play one and if you don't mind I may ask you some questions about uh, about playing as part of the team and how you guys have started developing and learning how to play as a team um, bu -bu 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 -bu. um shoot I mean I guess I guess I throw it here um and I'm actually going to go play in Sunrise, looking for them to rush through back door. Am I exposed? I am exposed from blue. I'm still exposed. Uh, yeah, let's actually do this. Play from over here. I don't think anybody's going this way. Raz is super lit up. Team plays around me. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go go in kitchen. Things are coming in service window, maybe. Okay, they got one. That's good. That's good. Another one. I'm listening for them to come downstairs. This Sabana guy is just wrecking them. One out four remaining. I didn't see action the whole round. Ooh. There's no cave flick. And we're on attack. Hydrate. 
I need to get this last bottle of water done before I go to bed and it's pretty much full. So what about a naked mole rat? What do you mean a naked mole rat? What about it? We have hard breach, we have Amaru. I don't think it's really gonna matter too much when I play, so I'm gonna go Yama. Have you seen a baby panda like just born? I think so. Aren't they hairless and pink? Use your drone to locate a bomb. And like super duper small too, I think. I think they might be hookah. There's one down in sunrise. and sunrise they have a pulse plane from downstairs all right i'm gonna keep this drone like in the kitchen and i'm gonna attempt to uh see if he's still there and then i think i'm gonna chain five seconds to Shoot. go Shoot. oh damn it i wanted to switch spawns you must locate and defuse a bomb That's fine. bomb has been located Reloading. you get the default cam Good. Nice. And the Bruins came up. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I think it's. Oh, they did that. Yeah. Uh, one on ping. Uh, looking out sunrise. Gonna do you ready? Maybe looking at a run out. Well, what I was gonna do. See if I can get them to shoot me. Okay, before I get off, I want to. Okay, we're gonna toss a nade in here. Another one. Down. Another so a game sense thing that's really good that I sometimes struggle with is hold on. Is checking common angles as you enter rooms. Saul is still in sunrise. Oh, I fucking want to do a frost map. Oh my god. Oh my god, the aim! My potato aim! The other problem is Siege uh, implemented a change with recoil where the longer you hold it, the worse the recoil gets. And I think I pretty much held left click down, so that was stupid. Um, oh, oh, I have an initial interview today. I told them I was expecting more than they had budgeted. The power of negotiating while still being employed. <laughs> Did you really? That's a power play right there. We're gonna lose one round. That's fine, man. I'm I've gone zero kills but five assists. That's weird. Potato. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was bad. I got. I mean, I was getting two gunfights at once because there was one on stairs that was shooting me through rotate. But I I should have been able to take out the pulse. That was just bad play on my part. Um, they're probably going to go kitchen service this time. I mean, we went penthouse second, but I feel like the, the default play is usually going uh, kitchen. And so I love, when they go kitchen, I love going slow. It's already taken. Um, I'm sorry. 
we'll go we'll go mm, we'll go yana no we're gonna go we're gonna go uh nomad their budge is maybe four percent more than i make here okay the job is in colorado and cost of living increases 26 percent more oh man oh yeah Cost of living is just so, it fluctuates so much depending on where you go. It's really kind of wild. They did not go kitchen, so they probably went uh, penthouse then. Um, does that change what operator I want to use based on what my team is using? I don't think so. Is that a warden? Is that a warden in there? Five seconds to go. Ah, what I was gonna do was switch to a hard breacher at the last minute to take out VIP wall, but it's fine. Where's the rest of my team at? All right, somebody was doing a spawn peek. He even pinged it. They red pinged it. What were you doing, bruh? We're gonna go in with the diffuser. I'd like to watch for a service entrance just in case. Did they get ruins, Cam? They did. Might thinks he's ready to do this, so give him the cover he needs. Stream Raiders is ready. All right, they're shooting through the. Oh shit! What did they do? That's what I thought. I thought he shot it. Well, you know, whatever. Right yeah, lit up lesion. Oh, dude. He's in a hallway over by Hoka. I want to see if there's somebody in a penthouse bedroom. in VIP right I was getting shot at where on five ping uh, there's one in VIP as well frost Murder hole, I don't like that. That was a smoke grenade. I got speared. Friendly last operator standing. Oh wow, you know. Oh, damn it. I didn't think about the rotate in window in the wall. Dang it. I was going to cover my flank on doorway and then go right back through guitar. I mean, do you want to move to Colorado? Um, better answer is do I want to follow as I want to follow my girlfriend. Hopefully more. This, okay. Well, there's Instagram. Oh, fuck. Um, let's see. They're probably, they're definitely going kitchen this time. We already have a sledge. We have two hard breachers. Um, we'll stick with Nomad, I suppose. I just like Nomad. Nomad's also a decent solo queue. When you aren't a potato. They need to locate a bomb. Okay, what time is it? Yeah. So, Jacob, it's going to be like one quick match for me when we're done here. We'll do Stream Raiders as soon as I'm done with this battle, and then... I will hop into a quick match with you and then I'll be You got be this even though you're tired. I believe in you. Oh, thanks. That was so positive. Um, so I'm going to go, even though I'm not the sledge, I'm going to go second floor and try to support um, that. Usually a sledge will play like VIP and try to get some pressure on kitchen. At least that's that's what I, I like to do. That's what I see quite a bit. 
Um, where is Sledge spawning? He's spawning at the ruins. Out default. He got it. Right? Yeah, they got it. Oh, he's not going VIP. That's okay. I'll still play with him. He face checked. That's cool. That's cool. Face works. Am I worried about a flank from that direction? Not really, but I'll look back. Might as well check it. I just face checked. Hey, he got someone. Cool. Just in case. I want to see if it. Oh, someone's on cool vibe stairs. They're looking towards sunrise. Default cam's up. They're still on stairs. They're still looking at my drone. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, my little streamer. Okay. So we'll get out of this quickly. We'll do stream raiders and then I'll hop into Discord and do a quick match with Jacob. I think I went zero kill. No, I got one. I got one kill, but I got five assists. That's weird. And that guy had how many kills? 14. My God. 9% chance. Did we get it? Okay. Um, all right. Let me flip over to Stream Raiders. Uh, where is it? Supports at? win games. You're the MVP. Yay! I wasn't, I wasn't playing as support ops, but I'll take it anyway. All right, there's so many of you helping out this time. I'm going to just random. I think everybody got covered at least once. If you didn't, I apologize. We're gonna leave this here because I do not have enough time to do another one. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and close down Stream Raiders. We're gonna flip back over to Siege. I'm gonna hop in the Discord here real quick. Stream Raiders. Hello. Hello. What's up? I need to turn me up. Yeah. Hello? Somebody else is in here. Or all, or I can't see uh, my chat. There's four of you in here. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Hey, hey, Zeus. I, I can send that some... Oh, wait, there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I just saw your invite. I'm, I'm hopping in. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it didn't work. Ah, it didn't work. I don't think, I don't think it'll Nate. work because... Yeah. You guys invite me. Um, I'm, 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 I'm going Nate. Nate. Okay. Oh, okay, well... Oh God! <laughs> Ruined everything. <laughs> All right, here I'll invite I'll invite you guys because Jacob's already in here. All right, sounds good. Oh, um, we're we're just gonna I, go. What? I had a I had a buddy of mine. Is it okay if he joins? Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna do one quick match real quick for bed because I gotta get off here right at eleven. Okay. But, um, I'm glad you guys yeah, are here because one of the things I was talking about on stream tonight was about like coaching and mindset but then i was also talking about it's also about the mindset of learning to play siege as a team so i didn't know if you guys wanted to talk about that at all or how you guys have learned to play the game as a team compared to how you maybe used to play it by yourself uh i mean learning to play as a team is just a lot about i you know playing like valorant and even siege uh, practicing for uh this year of competition uh you know solo queue, you just don't trust anybody yeah right yeah that's true I didn't even talk about that on stream tonight, but you're right. Like, all about playing with teams is all about being able to trust that your teammates are going to do what they need to do when you need them to do it and that they're going to, like, 
give you good information. So that that, that that was a, that was a big adjustment, I think, for a lot of us. Yeah, because yeah. we, I mean, that was one of our early barriers that you guys identified was like you would make calls, like somebody would make a call, and you'd be way too slow to act on it. Like it's because you don't trust that they're giving you good intel. But you guys, yeah, I mean, that's tightened way way up. You guys pretty much, if someone says the room is clear, you're like, all right, let's go. Yeah, and that just comes with the hundreds of hours we've played with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, Do you guys have a rough estimate for how many hours you guys have played with each other since August? Uh, I oh, currently man. have almost 600 hours on the game, and I had like 200 when I okay. started. Okay, um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me look. So I says have... like almost a thousand. So I have uh, nine, uh, 917 hours in the game. Yeah, when let's first, go. When I first started, I think I had like 400, 300 hours. No, okay. like 500 hours. There you go. Uh, I had like about close to 300 hours when I started, and now I have 826. Wow. I have... Steam doesn't want to let mine load. I think I have 600 some hours in Siege. Uh, my friend joined up. Sweet. Uh, All right. Hmm. <laughs> Time to roll or be rolled, boys. I need a hard carry. <laughs> well, that's why we got Jesus, right? Yeah. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> oh, On shall we? Oh my God. <laughs> we could do. We could do the uh, bar strat. I'm fine with I, that. Uh, do you mind if I bite my? Oh, uh, I guess for kitchen. No, you can. You can bring him in. That's fine. That's all right. Like, I guess, we don't get to choose. I guess we, yeah, but hey, we know our kitchen strat too. Do we? Yeah. I mean, we never play it, so I mean, I know the setup. I don't know if everyone else remembers it. I <laughs> mostly remember it. Top. Yeah, I'll hold, I'll hold actually in kitchen. I'm going to play Kaid. I'm going to try to uh, reinforce uh, or electrify uh, the wall that goes into Crow. Uh, I can play dining. Okay. Why isn't my uh, spec ratio changing? Oh, sorry. Oh. Yeah, we got like the, the worst site in Chalet. What's up? So how was your day, Nate? It was great. I'm a, a, it was busy and I'm a little tired, but it's been good. I'm tired because of the weekend. The weekend was busy and I'm just kind of like lagging behind from it. But Oh, but then you guys had the tournament in Fairfield? Yeah, yep. and it went pretty well. Carter and Jahir did an awesome job running it. And then our streamers. Oops, that was a bad spot. Oh, I've uh, I've seen some of the Smash players. Man, that hero and Rob were going at it. Oh my God, that match was so oh, much yeah. fun Wasn't to watch. Was it Was it Isak uh... and Ezra? Yeah. Two they of were... our recruits for next year. <laughs> they were going crazy. Yeah. All right. I said I was gonna play kitchen, so I better make good on my word. There we go. I'll play on chassis. Uh, I'll put a shield Jacob's out here. Jacob's up in solar. Okay. I think I hear him on trophy. They're on. Yep, trophy window. They're all looking from fireplace, oh, I think. Oh, shit. Oh, Wait, my God. They're, on trophy. Oh, they're in. Yeah, they're in kitchen. My bad. My my game kind of froze. I'm oh. so sorry. Oh, God. Uh, so I, I, didn't even, even look in there. I didn't even react to the Hibana because I thought it was one of you guys because I didn't realize she'd already gotten in a site. That was, uh, I won't lie. That was completely my fault. <laughs> my oh. Yeah, I just, Oh, Barbie. oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, who wants to hold Miz? Oh, I all right. I got Switch I hold Miz. I hold, I hold Miz. Switch, give me Yeager. Oh, I'll hold Miz. I, right, you right, did right. a good job holding Blue. I'm just, uh, over. I'm just choosing random right now. All right, yeah. Uh, why, why don't you, uh, why don't you, you hold to... my bar? Malusi? You, you want me to play? Nice. Who's, who's playing on Blue Stairs? Me. Okay. okay. Shit. Who's, who's, who's gonna hold my bar? I think it's gonna be. Uh, I can hold Nate. bar. When you mean you mean you mean bar? Do you mean the hidden room behind bar? Or do you mean the actual bar? No, the actual, actual bar. bar. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll play stock. All right, I'm dropping down rook plates. Um, I saw. Hey, CJ, I saw in chat that you redeemed the reverse thing. I'm not gonna do that on this site setup because this is one that they actually want to like utilize. I'll fuck around in a second. 
Somebody on stream just redeemed a thing where I have to flip my keyboard around. I'm not doing that just yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it after this round. So I just need you guys to be mentally prepared that next round my keyboard will be turned backwards. Oh, man. So it's a good That's thing. actually it's really funny. <laughs> it's a good thing we're in quick play. I would not do that in a ranked game. <clears throat> All right. That's right. I need a hold bar. Okay, I got it. Twitch. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess, you know, they like the rush, so I'm going to do that yeah. real quick. They, they're rushing Habana shotgun. Oh, yeah. uh, the window. Uh, window on A site, yeah. whatever that's called. Yeah. Sorry. I think they're uh, fireplace window. On 4P. Okay. The sun's in. Habana's, I, I, it, Habana's lit. Then? She's in bar. She's running behind a back back bar. Got it. Nice. Okay. Nice. Nice twitch. Uh, last one. Um, last one's on um, stairs. Oh wait, that's Warden. Duh, I'm stupid. Um, it's a zero. Yeah. Oh, it's a yeah. zero. Yeah, it is. Was he the one that was on that window you were talking about, Jacob? Yeah. Okay. The on window. Oh well, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna come and hold bar. Wanna right yeah, there and hold bar? I'll watch window. Holding top. I think he might have been at window. I'll watch. Yeah, he's at window. He's lit. He mm -hmm. might be rotating. Let's hold a cross angle on the diffuse. Be careful, switch. Yeah. No, it doesn't. I did destroy one of Zero's gadgets. I won't cast him. Oh. <laughs> I'm the sugar, so. Hey, you see him? No. No. He's at the window. I lit him up. Oh. Mudroom? Yep. He's in mudroom? Mudroom. Just that window. Yeah, I don't think he's entered yet. I have a prox requirement there. Okay. He's got a, he's got a minute, so he has time. I have an angle on it. Oh, nice. Nick, I think yep. Um, nice. Yes. Nice. Uh. <laughs> See, our bar our bar gaming is pretty good. <laughs> 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 All right, keyboard's getting flipped. <laughs> is it just for one round, or is it for the rest of the match? Um, it is for the rest of the match. <laughs> it's for it was, it's it's for five minutes off. once I start. Do you think you could go OSA switch? Yeah. I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna go if uh, the pain where they are. I'm gonna go through basement. I'm gonna do Actually, a, I'm gonna go with uh, Nick on this. Right. I will at the go, very least try to do some either Ash watching. or Sophia switch if you can. <laughs> Someone with a uh, breaching. I think. We need to locate a bomb. Like Ash's guns better. I hope they're downstairs. Sprinting is going to be impossible for me. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say they're gonna be they're, bedroom. Uh, yeah, they're the bedroom office. Okay. Uh, are you kitchen. sure? Never mind. They're yeah, kitchen. Yeah, they're the kitchen. They're not bed. Not master bed. You want me to go Osa? Osa still? Yeah. Or let's, uh, let's, let's go, go, go. Let's go. If you're coming with me, Jacob, we're going to go up uh, fireplace stairs. We're going to go up main stairs. Go up? Yeah, we're, gonna go, we're going in through basement. Fun, uh, oh, campfire. okay. Switch. They'll have a cav upstairs. Have a cav, yep. And they had Rook in uh, right outside kitchen. Uh, my contribution with you guys is going to be uh, just putting air jabs behind us, I guess, because that's about all I'm going to be able to do. You're going to be playing from up here, Switch. You're going to put your OSA. Nick, I'm you're rotating over to you. Up there, and you're going to be holding the stairs right here. Why I'm, I'm literally going to bust this open, and we're just going to, we're going in. I'm right. rotating to you guys, too. I can also face check. Want to, want to drone him? Yep. Snowmobile's clear. Connector's clear. Wine is clear. The clue. Okay, you're good to go. go now. Bathroom is clear. 
One playing, Cavi playing in piano room right now. We're going up, man. Oh, a run out. Yep. Tap cam on bottom. Should have put a jab on that door, damn. Drown out, drown out. Yeah, no, I'll follow it. Yep. I can also watch drones. Uh, someone watched my garage because that is where uh, Cap Cam was. Bar is clear. Um, Cap's in bedroom. Can you break There's, this? Uh, or... one on blue. One I on blue. exited out. One going in snowmobile garage. No, one's going behind you. Then I'm locked. Yeah, they're, they're trying. They're trying to. Oh play. yeah, Cap Cam. Uh, it's top of stairs, Nick. Hey, got me. Oh, I can't believe I got him. Where was he? What? Uh, bottom fireplace. There he is. Nice. Mm. The cap still alive? No, cap's dead. You have a drone? No. The drone yeah. underneath uh, the the pillar or the table? Cool. Right, I can watch cam. Yep, you saw that. Yep. Okay, they're gonna shoot your drone. It's out. Yeah, you got your drone. You saw him. Find that little half wall. Okay, you got him. 20 seconds. Oh, good try, good try. Nice try. Oh. I was very close, so well. It's all right. It's all right. All right. That that round lasted. Uh, I'm flipping it back over. <laughs> okay, gonna, now they gonna, get based. If I'm gonna throw. It's because I'm gonna legitimately throw, not not because of that. It's <laughs> random. So just go for comfort pick switch. Okay. Comfort picks. Okay. Yeah. In their basement. Uh, I'll go thatch. I'm they might out. be basement. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, right. Gonna that. that's right. That's right. I'm gonna. If they are basement, I'm going to the library. Actually, if I'm going alone, I'm gonna be going. Yeah, I'm gonna go Jericho. Let's see. They are not downstairs. Yep. They're not bar gaming. Bedroom. So they're upstairs. Bedroom. All right. All right. Uh, I'm now. I'm actually. Oh, they are bar gaming. Oh, they are bar gaming. Oh, okay. I'm, okay. I'm I'm still I'm gonna, gonna go library. I think. I'm gonna go sledge and I'll go library with you. Okay. Um, I'll push master side with Jesus. Yep. Switch your uh, spawn in uh, campfire. You're gonna go through Solus again. Solar. Right. Yeah, solar. My bad. I'm switching to uh, lakeside. Let me draw out oh, for you, switch again. Be careful with spawn. Uh, yeah. Run dance. Spawn on the wrong side. I'm watching. Solar is clear. Uh, bathroom is clear. Okay, anyone in the library? Piano is clear. Right. Okay, I'm gonna join up. Uh, Bedroom's box. clear. Library is okay, clear. I'm going in. I'm going in. clear. Mez is clear. I'm going to get hatched for us. Okay. You're good to come in, uh, switch. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm time. holding stairs right now. Oh, wait a minute. Played sledge so I can play vertical in library. Yep. And I'm not doing it. 
Aw, oh, that's a prisma. Thorn hit, half on site. Oh, uh, one on uh, main entrance. He's in the kitchen. Okay. Ah, oh, dang, there's two stock. There's two stock. Okay. I got two in Nice, Yunk. Nice. Nice. Remember, Thorn is at half. Yep, uh, post in kitchen as well. So you guys are good. Uh, you're gonna have to get bomb and plant. You can jump off there, Jacob, and Lion. Damn. Pulse in uh, d uh, kitchen hall. Yep. Other one underneath you. Basement. Just plant and then light. Ooh. Behind Ooh. you. Pause open behind you. Ooh. Do you have uh, drones? Nope, no drones. Playing, playing, uh, playing games behind uh, by default. I, I uh, will watch your bar with this drone. Thorn trap. Okay, never mind. You're good. Oh, maybe you're not. Okay. Lion. Oh, yeah, lion, 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 and then see if you get outside. Oh. Right there. Yeah, oh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, good try, good try. He, uh, go, he shot good. Goyo trap to the wall. Yeah. Very good try, very good try. Yeah. We did really good. Good job. You gonna go for it? <laughs> There's a fire. I think he's still looking for it. Nah, he's no just way. waiting for like the last second. Being a troll. Yeah, probably. There's no way he doesn't defuse. Yeah. The diffuser has been destroyed. GG, probably please. waiting for his fire to go away. Yeah. Oh, that, 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 that probably too. This storm is really good. Yeah. Yeah, he All was. Right. Are you guys going to keep playing? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. I gotta hop off the stream and get ready to go to bed, but um, we'll have All to play right. again. We'll have to play again soon. You guys have a? I saw you guys have or scheduled a scrimmage on Thursday. Yep. Uh, I don't know. I Travis might not be able to make it. And okay. well, when do we schedule oh, no. a scrimmage on Thursday? I saw it in the chat. Somebody was asking about it. I think Dawson asked about it. Dawson, Dawson was asking if it's okay if we could stream on Thursday. I I don't know what I'm. Uh, I mean, I should be fine, I guess. I don't think Travis is able to, and I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, well, if we have two that aren't able to, then we can't because we only have yeah. one Carter. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for playing. Yeah, thanks oh. for inviting me, guys. I'm going to open a pack real quick. What color is it? Purple. Oh. oh. Black Ice on stream? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Broadway, it's a pistol skin. All right, well, I'm also gonna hop, hop up. All right, uh, see you guys. See ya. Uh, All right, that was cool to do a quick match with them again. Quick match is a way different environment. It would have been better if we were in like an unranked or a ranked setting, but I just didn't have the time for it. I'm already 10 minutes later than I wanted to be. Um, but that being said, thank you guys so much for sticking with me tonight. We had a lot of viewers tonight, had a lot of success in stream raiders, which is awesome. Love the interaction in the chat. You guys were just all about the chat tonight. I even missed some of it. I missed a lot of what was going on. That's okay. Um, you want your money back? <laughs> um, here, I, you know what I'm going to do, CJ? Because I think, I think I'm supposed to do that for five minutes and I think I only gave you about three. So I'll make a note of it. And whatever game I play, actually, I know what game we're playing on uh, Wednesday. Um, but I'll do reverse for a one round uh, in, in the next game that I play on stream. So that way you can get your money's worth. <clears throat> anyway, thank you guys for joining me tonight. Thanks for kicking ass on Stream Raiders. Um, thanks for listening to me talk about uh, mindset when it comes to uh, the coaching. Um, I believe on Wednesday, I'm going to have to remind them. But on Wednesday, we're switching back to Overwatch. 
because we're going to talk about coaching fundamentals in Overwatch. And I have invited Coach Rick to do that because he is the, is the Overwatch coach. I am not. Um, so I've invited him to join. I don't know if uh, Coach Andrew will join us as well or not. Um, but I will remind him on Wednesday, and that will be the plan for uh, for Wednesday stream. It's coaching fundamentals in Overwatch, and he, uh, if he's still available for that stream, is going to do a phenomenal job with it. Um, I think if for some reason they are not available that night, then I'm going to postpone that stream a little bit until they can be here, because you want them talking about it, not me. But anyway, um, that is something to look forward to. I appreciate you guys sticking around. Um, as always, take care of each other and have a good night and I will see you next time.